In this video, we are going to see how to add ClickUp task details to Microsoft Excel. So let's say that you are using ClickUp as a task management software where every time there is a new task added. So the details of this task should be added as a new row in your Excel spreadsheet. Now how can you do this by integrating these two applications in such a way that in this entire process can get automated. Now here you can do this using Pabli Connect software where your trigger application would be ClickUp and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now how can you do this yourself to understand that let me take you to my screen. So to begin with the process, first we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user you can simply sign in. If you are a new user then you will have to sign up for free. Now at the time of account creation you will also get 100 free tasks. Since I am an existing user here I am simply going to click on sign in and as I do that it will take me to the all applications page. Now here since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on access now. And now it has taken us to the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And now we are supposed to name our workflow. Now here I want that every time a new task is created on ClickUp, this information should be shared with my Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to name it as ClickUp to Excel Microsoft Excel. So let's click on create. So once done we have reached this page which is very important because it has got two very important events trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Action is basically the response of the trigger. Now here I'm going to choose my first application as ClickUp and let's click on this. Now the trigger event. Here I'm going to choose my trigger event as new task. So every time there is a new task, this workflow will start. And now I'm going to click on connect. As soon as I click on connect, Pabli Connect here is asking me to connect itself with the ClickUp account. For this I'm going to click on add new connection. And to set up this connection, this needs this API token. For this, first we will have to log into our ClickUp account and then we'll have to go to the profile icon at the bottom left, bottom left corner and go to apps. So we are going to do the same. I'm going to take you to my ClickUp account here. So this is my ClickUp account and here you can see the profile. I'm going to click on this. As soon as I do that, we have to go to apps. Let's click on this. Once we are done, this is the API token. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it here. Once done, let's click on save. And now here it is asking me for the workspace name, space name, folder name and list name. So to understand this, now I'm going to take you to my ClickUp account. So here is the ClickUp account. Let's quickly go back and go back to the home page. So here you can see that these are the various spaces that I've already created and I'm going to go to Pabli space here. So within the space Pabli space we are going to go to integrations. I'm going to click on this and here you can see ClickUp task. So I'm going to click on this. Since so this is a new list that we have just created. Now here I'm going to do what? I'm going to add a new task. So this new task is set up a meeting with the entire team for 3 p.m. So this is the task that I have got just created. Now let's add the due date as well. So here you can see the due date. So I'm going to click on this and now the task has been created on 30th. So let's say the due date is 31st. Okay. And then I'm going to click on close. So which is tomorrow. So we have set up this task and now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to first map the data. So the workspace name here is Ashi's workspace. Then we have the space name. So the space name is Pabli. And then we have the folders name. So it has already incorporated the folders name. And what is the name of the list? So if I take you back, see the name of the list is ClickUp Tasks. So I'm going to go back. This is ClickUp Tasks. So let's click on this. And now I'm going to click on 
save and send test request as soon as i do that this was the latest task that was incorporated so here you can see that we have received the creation date and then if i go down you have the creator name then the creator email address and then this is the due date again if we come down here so you have the permission level and this is the list name then this is the project name and we have received this entire information now what do i want i want this information to be shared on the excel sheet that i have prepared so for this we are going to add another action here which is a feature by pabli which is date time formatter so let's click on this and now the action event so here i want to change the format so i'm going to click on format date only and click on connect so here the date is so if i go down so this is the date created i'm going to click on this so now the from format so this basically is in timestamp format timestamp in millisecond so i'm going to click on this and now the two format will be so if i come down i want it to be date month and year i'm going to click on this and click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the data in our desired format so once done let's check the api response again so here you can see that uh, we have received the name basically this is the message and if i go down so here we have the date created and if i scroll down further this is the due date so now i'm supposed to repeat the process for the due date so let's go down and i'm going to click on another action step so this is again going to be date time for matter so let's click on this so this time my action event would be format date with time zone i'm going to click on connect once done here i have to map the date so i'm looking for my due date so this is it once done the form format so this is in millisecond format and then the two format here would be i want it in date month and year so this is the format now from time zone is utc and then we have the two time zone which is kolkata so let's click on this and click on save and send test request so once done here we have received the due date and now i want this information to be shared with my excel sheet so i'm going to click on add action step and now the application that i'm going to choose is excel let's click on this and action event here would be add row to worksheet and click on connect once done Public Connect is here asking me to connect itself with the Microsoft Excel account. So I'm going to click on Add New Connection and then Connect with Microsoft Excel. So here we have to choose an account. So once done, I'm going to provide it the access so that it can have the access to the information, and then we will find that the authorization is a successful. That the authorization has been successful. now here if i take you down we need to choose the workbook and the worksheet i have already created an excel sheet the name is click up task details and i have got the following categories creator's name email task then we have the creation date let me just make it correct it is creation date due date list name and project name so i'm going to go back to pabli connect and here i'm going to choose the workbook So the name of my workbook is Click Up Task Details, and since there is only one particular sheet in that, so it will automatically get captured by the system. So once done, if we scroll down, we have the creator's name. I'm going to map this data. Go to Click Up, and here I'm going to write creator's name. So this is the name of the creator. Then if I go to the email address, so I'm going again going to go to the first step, and this is the email address. next we have the task so let's look for the task so what is the task set up a meeting with the entire team for 3 pm now the creation date for this i'm going to go to the second step this is my creation date then the due date let's go to the third step this is the due date and then the list name so i'm again going to the first step and i'm going to write list so this is the list name and then we have the project name for this again i'm going to go to the first step So let's write project, and this is the project name. So once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And once done, what should happen? I should receive the API response just like this, and this information should be now a part of my Excel sheet as a new row. So I'm going to go to my Excel sheet here and quickly refresh this page. 
and here you can see that yes we have received the information exactly like we need it so this basically means that our integration process is successful now we also need to check if this works in real time so i'm going to quickly go back to my clickup task and here i'm going to create a new task so this time the new task is demo task creation and now i'm going to save it so again i'm going to add a due date let's say the due date this time is 2nd of september and then i'm going to close it so it is done so the moment this is done i should receive the information on my excel sheet but if i take you back to public connect here you can see if i scroll up that there is a trigger of 10 minutes which means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes the workflow will run after every 10 minutes to fetch for new data so now we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we'll go to our excel sheet to refresh it and check if the workflow is like you know totally integrated with the two applications so now i'm going to take you back to my clickup task details excel sheet and here you can see that yes we have received the data which means that this process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand this process thoroughly so here our trigger application is clickup and the event was new task then we had added a feature by Pabli which was date time for matter and the last was our action application was Microsoft Excel and action event was add row to worksheet. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice, then you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.